And you're listening to Matthew Bright from Hammond, Indiana on 670 The Score, WSCR. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, this whole LeBron James show that LeBron is saying. It's all about winning. It's all about winning. I want to win. So I've decided to make this super team. Well, now you've got the whole world hating you since you moved to Miami. But it's about winning. And if it was about winning, why, did you, why didn't you stick where you were? You've been to the Eastern Conference Finals twice in the same place. So that would, that would lead me to believe that you're about maybe a player short away. So you go to Miami with Wade and Bosch. And now you're, you're, you've set the bar so high for not just yourself, for the entire team. Because what do you do when you lose? A lot of people have been talking about the Miami Heat and LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade all going to Miami. But here in Chicago, the Bulls are putting together a pretty good team. Um, they signed J.J. Redick to an offer sheet. They signed Kyle Korver. And they signed Carlos Boozer. Carlos Boozer is a career 18 and 10 rebound a game player to go with Yakim Noah and Derrick Rose. The, the Bulls are really setting up a team to be very good. They also have Taj Gibson. They signed uh, Omar Hastic, who's a EuroLeague player that's about 7 feet, 255 pounds, is going to be a good reserve for them. So I think the Bulls have propelled themselves to be a top three, maybe top four team in the Eastern Conference. I hope you're done with the LeBronathon. I know I am. I think everybody else is. You knew he wasn't going to Cleveland. Chicago, to me, was a long shot. We're done with it. It's over. We're going to talk about the 2010 Chicago Bears and how Jay Cutler is going to join his marriage with Mike Martz. I think the move was great. All the preliminary reports coming out that Jay Cutler and Mike Martz are having a great relationship. I think that the new offense that Mike Martz will open up for Jay Cutler will improve the Chicago Bears offense. I think the spread out, as far as the wide receivers are concerned, the route running, everything that matters as far as the receivers and the relationships with the quarterback is going to improve greatly. Moving on to the White Sox in baseball. Wow. How many games can these guys win in a row until somebody stops them? It, it, the Royals used to destroy us, and now we don't even have that. I mean, we can't even put our uh, aspirations on that. I mean, we, they cannot be stopped. It's, it's a train. When the Cubs were moving into the playoffs a year ago, when they had the big blue train, woo, woo, what did that do? Now, where's the Sox train? Where are we going with that? I want a black and white train because we do have one. It's called the red line. The Sox did great in interleague play. As a matter of fact, at that point, people then had to say, coming out of interleague play, how are they going to fare when they get back into the AL Central? Well, of course, I have to say that when we first came out and played the Royals, we, we lost two out of three. And I was like, that's not very good, but they were a little rusty. But then to go down to Texas and actually take two out of three was really, really super important and very beneficial. And then to come back home and to sweep the Angels and to keep scoring the way they are, you can feel good as being a Sox fan knowing that you're going into the all-star break and your team is probably poised to take the division. We all know in the AL Central, you must win that division in order to make the playoffs because the AL East pretty much has the wild card. So in saying that, if you're a Sox fan, you can feel comfortable with saying your team very well might win the division and you could be in the playoffs with a team that at the beginning of the year, no one thought that was actually going to be the right team. So, if you're a Sox fan, great. If you're a Cub fan, remember it's year one and you're rebuilding. And it still could possibly be good for you, but you definitely got some things to do. Well, that's the weekend edition. I am Maya from Cress Hill, and this is WSCR 670, The Score.